The third part of the tutorial explains how to construct mandible segmentation on ITK SNP. The construction of mandible segmentation can be used as shown here as a step after the voxel base registration when the scans are already superimposed with the cranial base as reference. It can also be used for the regional voxel base registration at the mandible as shown in tutorial 3C. Load the scan, CT, CBCT, MicroCT, into ITK SNAP. Here, we dragged and dropped the scan into the window and selected Load as Segmentation. You can start a new segmentation for regional voxel base registration, or you can load a cranial base segmentation to integrate the mandible. In this case, we will load a cranial base segmentation and start the mandible from it. Note that this cranial base segmentation has part of the condyle in green, so I'll erase the condyle with a brush before starting the mandible segmentation. If the segmentation has part of an unwanted bone or something else in green, take this time to erase it with the brush before starting the mandible segmentation. Here, we use the 2D and 3D brush. To start the registration step, click on the snake icon in the main toolbox. Red lines will appear. Move the lines to the region of interest, here the mandible, in all the views, coronal, sagittal, and axial, and click Segment 3D. Make sure you select a color. At the Segmentation Options, there are two options of colors, the Active Drawing Label, which is the color that your segmentation will be, and the Draw Over, which is where your segmentation will be created. Thus, Active Drawing Label can be any color. Yellow is the color most commonly used for the mandible. And for Draw Over, select Clear Label, since there are not any other labels yet. Next, click Segment 3D. Next step is to choose between Intensity Regions, which is used to start segmentation from zero, and Image Edges, which is used when the segmentation is already done and you need to make some retouches. Click Pre-Process Image. Try to adjust the lower and upper threshold in a way that the bone gets visibly white while minimizing noise. Click OK. Then click Next on the left toolbar. The next step is to add bubbles into the scan. Pressing and holding the left mouse button and pressing the plus keyword button will allow you to add bubbles to your cursor's location. Put the bubbles on the white bone. There's no problem with some of the bubbles overlapping onto the blue or black since it will shape to the white bone at the next step. When you're done with creating the bubbles, click Next. Up now is Bubble Shaping into the Bone. First, click Set Parameters. In the right window, the Conceptual Illustration of Forces in 2D. Modify the red lines to a degree so that they stay inside the white. Click Accept, and then click the Play button on the left toolbar, which will allow the program to run. You can stop the program at any time to see how the segmentation is coming along by clicking Update Mesh on the bottom toolbar or the ITK Snap window. Once the segmentation is complete, click Finish. Click Update Mesh on the bottom toolbar to see the final segmentation. Depending on the scan, a portion of the condyle may be missing. In order to fix it, click the snake icon, and with the red lines, surround one of the condyles. Change the Draw Over option to All Labels. Click Segment 3D, then select Image Edges, and finally click Pre-Process Image. Adjust the three slide bars to clean up the edges. Next, click OK. Now you must add bubbles to the scan again 
but only to the missing sections of the condyle. Click Next on the left toolbar. Add the bubbles in the same manner as before. When finished, click Next. For the next step, click Set Parameters. For the Balloon Force slider bar, if it's a positive value, the segmentation will expand, which is what we intend to add onto the missing condyle. If it's a negative value, the segmentation will decrease. For the second bar, set the Curvature Force value between 0.6 and 0.08. For the third bar, set the advection force between 2.3 and 3.0. Click Accept, then click the Play button on the left toolbar to run the segmentation. At this point, you may want to stop and see the 3D model by clicking Update Mesh. And you also might want to go back and switch the balloon force to positive or negative to add more bubbles or take away more bubbles to make the segmentation complete. You can also take this moment to do some manual adjustments. Do the same to the other condyle. This is a speedy version. When finished with all the manual adjustments, the segmentation is ready to be saved. Click Segmentation in the upper left corner and select Save as Image. Choose the directory and remember to type .gipl.gz at the end so that it can be saved as a compressed .gipl to save space.